Well, we do, we do kind of both ends, right? So on the one end of the spectrum, what, what we want to do is increase our mitochondrial capacity to maximize aerobic metabolism. And uh, there are two ways to do that, meaning you have to do two things. So the way I describe this to people is the way one of my coaches described it to me when I was a, you know, a fledgling cyclist. Your aerobic capacity is a pyramid. And the area of that pyramid is your total aerobic capacity. And to have the largest area of a pyramid, you need the widest base and the highest peak, right? A pyramid with a narrow base and a high peak, eh, not as good. A pyramid with a very wide base and a shallow peak, also not great. You want wide base, high peak. Well, in that analogy, the base is your zone two threshold, right? It's how much work can you do while keeping lactate at that sort of threshold that George Brooks and Inigo San Milan talk about of about two millimole. So what differentiates the best aerobic athletes from someone, you know, say with type two diabetes, which would be the opposite end of that spectrum where you have real metabolic dysfunction or rather mitochondrial dysfunction, we're talking a fourfold difference in watts per kilo output. And you just have to train at that level. You have to get to that threshold and train right there. So, you know, this morning that was the workout I did, right? It was a zone two ride where I'm just riding right at a lactate level of 1.9 millimole was where I was today. But you do need to do what you're describing as well. You have to do the pyramid building. You have to build the peak of that pyramid. Those are the VO2 max sets. And you know, generally the sweet spot for building those is three to eight minutes of all out effort for the respective um, duration. So obviously what you can do for three minutes and no more is harder than what you might be able to do for eight minutes and no more. My favorite are four minutes. So for example, on Sunday, that was my workout was I actually did an hour of that zone two, you know, kind of two millimole stuff and then did four minute awful repeats where it was like, much, much higher power for four minutes. And then I rested for four minutes and then went again for four minutes and then rested for four minutes. And at the end of those four minute blocks, you know, my lactate will be 15 or 16. And, wow. and then at the end of a four minute rest, it might be down to six or seven. And then we do it again and do it again and do it again. So yeah, long winded way of saying you want both, right? You want to build that pyramid to be as wide and as tall as possible. What I don't think I appreciated though, was that the brain is getting a benefit from those lactate peaks. Yes, it's getting a benefit and they don't like, you know, it's cleared quite quickly. Yeah. So, I mean, like, you know. I mean, it's minutes. Uh, it's if, minutes, If you, if you yeah. do nothing, it's, yeah. If you just stopped, you, you know, you'll, I mean, and of course, athletes are even better at this, right? Like a, an amazing athlete would clear lactate within, you know, they, they'd go from 10 millimole to two millimole in minutes. Yeah. I, for me, um, yeah, like, you know, 20 minutes later, I'm back to my 0 0.9, you know, millimole baseline. But, um, you know, that that lactate also is, is it's, it's important for neurotransmitter synthesis. You're, you're um, making glutamate, the major excitatory neurotransmitter in the brain. It's, it's important for making precursors to that. Norepinephrine. I mean, these have all been shown in human studies, also mm. animal studies. Um, so for me, I do a lot of Tabata training. And yeah. um, so that's I even think, more intense because you're only doing 20 seconds on and 10 seconds off. So that's, I that's do, really intense. Yeah, it is. I do. Um, and I do 16 of those. Um, so I do, you know, like eight and then separated by like a 30 second, you know, break. And then I do another eight. Um, and so I, two, and four I do, minute blocks. Yeah. And then, well, it's a, it's a total of about 10 minutes, but, um, so the first minute I'm in like zone two and then by like the end of that minute, I'm like zone three and then I go into zone four, like, you know, so it's like, um, and what, are, what are you doing this on? Are you doing this on an air bike peloton. or I'm peloton. doing it on a Peloton okay. right? and my Apple watch is, is you know, beaming my heart rate and my zones um, on to my screen, which is kind of, they're all estimated, of course, again, yeah. uh, you know, so, but, but I do that five, five days a week. It's, again, I think, um, you know, the, for me, the efficiency also, so I'm, I'm trying to maximize the, the neurobiological effects for me with exercise. And I really find 
um, pretty compelling evidence that intensity is really important with respect to that for for the brain. Um, not that there isn't a benefit for you know lower intensity exercise, uh, but and it's certainly people doing you know moderate intensity. Like the more time you put in, like the volume of training, right, is like mm-hmm. you know you're going to probably find some equivalent there, right? But um, with the lactate, though, that's the one mechanism. I'm like that is really something. I personally am trying to optimize for, and I, it, it's definitely a, a consequence of intensity, right? Um, but I, and and the fact that uh, it's it's cleared so quickly uh, and it's transient, like I'm wanting it on it. I'm wanting a lot of it, like each day. I'm wanting to keep doing it, right? Like so, I kind of uh, I do those those types of training. 